This video lecture addresses concepts in terrestrial ecosystems. Specifically, it covers the major terrestrial biomes. Early naturalists were struck by the diversity of life, and at the same time, the similar appearance and nature of organisms found in geographically different regions. In fact, they found that similar types of plant communities occurred in similar climates at spatially distant locations. Early plant geographers correlated the distribution of vegetation to climate. The world could be divided into zones representing broad categories or formations of vegetation based on physical appearance. Whitaker first noted that biome types form in response to a distinctive climatic pattern. Topography, soil type, and disturbance exposure can also influence the occurrence of a biome. Mean annual precipitation declines with decreasing mean annual temperature, and mean annual temperature decreases from the equator to the poles, while seasonal variation in temperature increases. Biogeography is the study of the spatial or geographical distribution of organisms, both past and present. Biogeography works to describe and understand the processes responsible for patterns in the distribution of species and larger taxonomic groups. More specifically, historical biogeography studies the origin, dispersal, and extinction of groups, whereas ecological biogeography addresses the distribution of contemporary organisms. Developed by Clements and Shelford, biomes are biotic units that are classified by predominant plant types. The eight major terrestrial biomes include tropical forests, temperate forests, boreal forests, temperate grasslands, tropical savanna, chaparral or shrublands, tundra, and desert. Also shown here are freshwater, marine, and ice cover. In the mild, moist climates of the southern hemisphere, temperate evergreen forests are dominant. Rainforests are restricted to the equatorial zones between 10 degrees north and 10 degrees south latitude. Temperatures are warm throughout the year and rainfall occurs almost daily. The Amazon basin of South America is the largest and most continuous rainforest in the world. The second largest is in Southeast Asia and the third largest is in West Africa. Tropical rainforests account for more than 50% of biological diversity on Earth. For example, a 10 square kilometer area of tropical rainforest may contain 1,500 species of flowering plants and up to 750 species of trees. The lowland tropical forest of Peninsula Malaysia contains nearly 7,900 species. As well, nearly 90% of all non-human primate species live in the tropical rainforests. Many trees grow buttresses that function as prop roots in the shallow soil that offers poor anchorage, and the major soil orders include oxisols, ultisols, and andosols. As a general rule, forest ecosystems dominate the wetter regions of the temperate zone. The prevailing climatic conditions of the humid mid-latitude regions give rise to forests dominated by broadleaf deciduous trees. Deciduous forests in most parts of the earth have largely disappeared, having been cleared for agriculture. There are four vertical layers in deciduous forests that are highly developed and unevenly aged. The upper canopy comprised of dominant tree species, the lower tree canopy or understory, the shrub layer, and the ground layer of herbs, ferns, and mosses. A diversity of animal life is associated with this vertical stratification and the growth forms of plants, and the highest diversity in the forest occurs on or just below the ground layer. The end of the growing season in the broadleaf deciduous forests is marked by changes in leaf color. Differences in climate, bedrock, and drainage are reflected in the variety of soil conditions present. Major soil orders of the temperate forest include alphasols, inceptisols, and altisols. 
A small patch of temperate rainforest occurs in the Pacific Northwest of North America, including areas of Alaska, Washington, Oregon, California, and Canada. This coastal strip of forest is generally characterized with the conifer forests that dominate the cool, temperate, and boreal zones. Conifer forests are primarily found in a broad circumpolar belt across the northern hemisphere and on the mountain ranges. Low temperatures limit the growing season to a few months each year and the canopy is dominated by needle leaf evergreen trees. The variable composition and structure of these forests reflect the wide range of climatic conditions in which they grow. The boreal forest is the largest vegetation formation on earth. During periods of drought, fire can affect a large portion of the boreal forest, but boreal species of broadleaf trees and conifers are well adapted to fire, and fire is a source of regeneration. The boreal forest has a unique animal community. Herbivores include caribou, moose, snowshoe hare, red squirrel, and porcupine, and predators include wolf, lynx, pine marten, and owl. This forest also provides nesting locations for migratory neotropical birds and hosts herbivorous insects such as the spruce budworm. Litter inputs are low, but decomposition rates are slow, resulting in an accumulation of organic matter. Characteristic soils of the boreal forest are in the order Spodosols and are characterized by a thick organic layer. Boreal forests have generally no low net primary productivity that is limited by low nutrients, cooler temperatures, and a short growing season. Grassland ecosystems of the temperate zone vary with climate and geography. Natural grasslands occupy regions where rainfall is between 25 and 80 centimeters per year, but many grasslands exist through the intervention of fire and human activity. Natural grasslands have shrunk to less than 12% of their original size. Grasslands occur in the mid-latitudes and mid-continental regions where annual precipitation is reduced. The temperate grasslands experience recurring drought. Plant diversity reflects differences in the amount and reliability of precipitation. Grasslands do the poorest where precipitation is lowest and the temperatures are high. Grasslands are dominated by herbivorous species such as large grazing ungulates and burrowing mammals. Similarly, grasslands evolved under the selective pressure of grazing, and grazing stimulates primary productivity. The major consumers in grassland ecosystems are invertebrates, and the heaviest consumption takes place below ground by nematodes. There are three strata in the grassland, tall, green ephemeral herbaceous growth, ground layer, and below ground root layer. Grasslands accumulate a layer of mulch that retains moisture and adds organic matter to the mineral soil. Soils of the grasslands are in the order, order mollusols, with their relatively thick, dark brown, black soil horizon rich in organic matter. Woodland and savanna ecosystems are characterized by the co-dominance of grasses and trees or shrubs. The distribution of savanna vegetation, especially woody vegetation, is controlled by moisture through precipitation and soil texture, soil structure, and soil water holding capacity. Savannas occur in a warm continental climate with mean temperature usually greater than 18 degrees Celsius and maximum temperatures occurring at the end of the wet season. There is a distinct seasonality in precipitation, and there is large interannual variation in total precipitation. Savannas have a two-layer vertical structure with grasses and trees or shrubs. Characteristics of savannas include occurrence on land surfaces of little relief, presence of fire-adaptive vegetation, and presence of woody vegetation that is short-lived. Seasonal precipitation controls the yearly cycle of plant activity and productivity in tropical savannas. Soil orders of the savanna include oxisols, alphasols, and entisols. Microenvironments of higher soil nutrients and moisture are found under tree canopies, which influences species distribution and diversity. 
Savannas support a large diversity of both invertebrate and vertebrate herbivores that graze or browse the vegetation. The Mediterranean climate, with its hot, dry summers and cool, moist winters, supports temperate shrublands. A shrubland is a plant community in which the shrub growth is dominant or co-dominant. A shrub is a plant with multiple woody, persistent stems with a height from 4.5 to 8 meters. Mediterranean ecosystems are found along the western margins of the continents between 30 degrees and 40 degrees latitude and are dominated by evergreen shrubs and sclerophyllous trees that are adapted to reduced water loss during the summer with small leaves, thickened cuticles, glandular hairs, and sunken stomata. The Mediterranean climate supports similar looking plant communities including xeric broadleaf evergreen shrubs, dwarf trees, and an herbaceous understory. Shrubland vegetation also shares adaptations to fire and low nutrient levels in the soil. For the most part, Mediterranean shrublands lack an understory and ground litter. Many species have seeds that require the heat and scaring action of the fire to induce germination. As chaparral growth grows taller and denser, a large fuel load builds up and sets the stage for fire. A similarity in habitat structure of the Mediterranean shrublands has resulted in pronounced parallel and convergent evolution among birds and some lizard species. Shrubland soils are generally deficient in nutrients and limited litter decomposition in low winter temperatures and low soil moisture in summer months. The major orders of shrubland soils is the alphasol.